National Domestic Violence Awareness Month is almost over, but one Texoma community is working to make sure the conversation continues through the rest of the year. News 12's Garrett Springfellow spoke to survivors about their experience. Now, as a warning, their stories may be disturbing for some viewers. My hope is that my story and my truth will help someone be able to find their joy and to know that out of your pain, out of your suffering can come joy. On Saturday, domestic violence survivors gathered in Denison to tell their stories. There's evil filling this world everywhere, and most of it is abuse. We will come together and break being a victim. Recalling memories of their assaults and connecting now through the loneliness they felt in those moments. He didn't like what I said, and he backhanded me, smacked me right in the mouth. Blood went everywhere. I had never been hit like that before. I was dragged down concrete steps by my hair, slammed into walls, thrown into bathrooms with my head bashed on a toilet seat, grabbed by my throat and slammed to the ground. And a lot of us is told what go on in my house, stay in my house. Mm -hmm. So we learned to live with that. Nobody knew because nobody took the time to ask what's really wrong. Domestic violence isn't just traumatic, it can be deadly. In a report from Northeastern University, they found that 44.8% of women killed from 2007 to 2016 were killed by an intimate partner. Survivors say they're sharing their testimonies to help save lives. You can win a lot of fights, but you will lose the battle. I can promise you, you will lose the battle if you don't get help. You don't learn to talk about it. Um, I once was a victim, and so I wanted to wear, uh, raise more awareness in the Texoma area because it's not very much spoken on. This is domestic violence survivor Coral Ray Hogfist showing off the international symbol for help, a sign you can look for to know if someone may be in danger. You can also reach out to today's speakers or your local domestic violence shelter for help or to learn how to be part of the solution to end domestic violence in Texoma. In Denison, Garrett Stringfellow, News 12.